Hey guys, um, this is, uh, I'm going to show you how, remember I said I was going to come back and show you how my, uh, how this hand pump works, and, um, what I do is, okay, remember this is the burner, this is my access point to the, uh, rain barrel, um, what I do is kind of loosen it a little bit, now the, the hole that I drilled in here does not have any threads where this cap does, but it still works almost like, you know, as if it was threaded. So I take that lefty, yeah, righty tighty lefty loosey, turn that to the left, um, and then depending on the barrel, some of the barrels I have to kind of pop it off. This particular one, um, I can use this and these little prongs fit into fit into the prongs to these, these square pieces or these little pieces that are sticking out fit into these indentations in the cap. So that's what you see me doing. And hopefully I have put this camera back in the correct spot. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we're going to continue to loosen this. And, as you can see, I hope you can there. You see the reflection? It is full of water. Alright, what you do is you take the pump here. See, this one has two you know, parts to it, of course, it's connected. You've got the long shaft. And this is where the suction action goes. And this is the hard part of the pump. And then, I am already I was using it to pump some water out. Then the long flexible hose. And I would say this hose is probably about four or five feet long. But what you do is you get this flexible piece of hose. Now that part you're not going to be able to see. Um, because I'm doing this by, by myself. But you put this flexible hose. Let me do that first. See how I kind of got that baby between my legs? And it's down in my uh, container, which happens to be a five gallon bucket. Um, you need to kind of hold this baby in between your legs because once you start pumping the water through, it likes to kind of flop around. Put that baby down in your um your container that has your liquid, which in this case is water. And I think this pump is only to be used for certain liquids, and it'll tell you on the um, on the uh, uh, package. And this can be used for water. And lift up. Push down, up, push down, up, push down. See, there's really not a whole lot of effort. Um, they say it's four strokes, um, four strokes per um, gallon. Now, see, I only had just a tad of water in there. And see, now it's kind of dirty because this bucket had some dirt in it and this uh, one still has water from uh, has water from the first rains of the spring uh, remember I told you in the lock update how we have uh, a lot of pollen because of all the trees well that of course gets into uh, you know your water that you're saving I haven't come up with a uh, you know, screen, uh, screening thing uh, to filter that out. But it doesn't hurt the plants or anything. It's just when it, if it sits for a while, um, it, it does start to stink a little bit. And of course, it will turn your water, you know, brown. It's not all nice and clear. Um, but uh, that is uh, how easy um, this pump works. I'm going to show you on. Uh, my barrels over here. Now these barrels have tops cut out. These are just tarps that are on the top and it's secured with um, three bungee 
bungee, bu yeah, bungee cords. But of course, when it rains, water sits on top like this. Now I've already pumped out, pumped off the water that was sitting on this one because it looked just like that. See the water that's on that? So I'm gonna sit the camera over here, hopefully where you'll be able to see. And um, you can see how easy, like I said, it is to use this pump even for something like that. And, that, and that's kind of what it's used for. So. Let me cut it off and come back. Okay. I am over here. I got the camera set up. And you're going to be able to see. And you need to watch where I am. <laughs> okay, I've got the bottom of the pump sitting in, you know, in my little pool of water. Of course, because it's, I'm doing it at a much higher level. And so it works on the suction action. It sucks the water up in this tube. And then on the push stroke, it pushes it out through the holes here. Alright, I'm going to put that down. And bring the camera over to closer. See? Water all gone. So oh, real quickly. Um, to put this back, you can either use the bone. Sometimes, especially when the barrel is like this one, uh, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, it, it's not as quite as flat as this one or even this one over here. So what I had to do was uh, trying to sit this down. What I had to do was, you know, I can hand tighten it as much as I could. And then you can kind of put your weight on it. Press down on the cap. And it'll just about go all the way down. So, just wanted to show you that real quick. Pretty nice. Uh, this is what I used when I um, empty uh, wanted to empty barrels into um, other barrels. Uh, now, of course, you know carrying water uh, is it, it, some work, uh, but I emptied three of these barrels into this barrel, this barrel, and the two in the back by myself. That is 220 gallons of water. Now, it was a workout. I was a little sore the next day, but I got my my weightlifting, weight training workout, and uh, cardio in all in one day. So, just wanted to show you that, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.